there's no um, no dramas, no one's falling downstairs or anything, walking around with the putters, is everything's all right? Yeah, no, everyone got through training yesterday, so uh, touch wood, uh, you know, fit and healthy, and we'll go with the other uh, 17 name for tonight's game. I'm sure it's a confidence level, so I mean, I know Cameron Smith had a, had a word with the team, told him to seize this opportunity, they don't want to go down and be playing for game three. Yeah, our preparation's been really good, and the senior players really led that this week. I think, um, you know, it, Having Cooper Cronk train at every session has certainly helped with our attack instructions and so on. And a little hiccup on Friday with a couple of guys sitting out, but uh, it's been a really good prep. And, and like you said, you know, Smithy and those leaders have really driven that. Um, that preparation is the key for us to, uh, to to give a good performance tonight. How wary are you? What New South Wales are going to bring? Yeah, listen, I think they're going to bring um, a lot of offloads. Um, I think you know, looking back at game one. Uh, where they did break up our defensive line a little bit was, was through their offloads. I think they had 12 offloads for the game. So we expect, you know, Tamao for feeder off the bench, um, you know, Gallen to really promote the footy. I think, um, you know, them having another 10 days in camp together as well certainly will help their attacking structure. So we expect a lot of threat out of them tonight. And um, we prepared, you know, as best we can to try and handle that and, and minimise that threat. But uh, we expect a lot of off offloads out of them. And I think the, uh, you know, the evening's going to be nice and dry, hopefully. So um, you know, there'll be some attacking, you know, football thrown at us. It's an open game. Suit you guys as well? I think it does. You know, I think um, you know we want to get you know GI um, you know his hands on the footy. I think game one he only had three touches, first half. So the more we get um, you know the footy in his hands, you know, it certainly opens up our attack. Uh, you know, but like you know, like you say, you know we want an attacking game as well, and um, you know, I think we'll get that from both sides. Is there a forward who's stepped up, you know, sort of played that role that, that during training and preparations that, that you know with Nate missing that sort of enforced role for the first twenty minutes? Of I think Matt Scott, you know, he's done that you know, traditionally, you know, since he's come into the Origin side. But I've really noticed, uh, um, you know, springing his step this week, and he's certainly spoken a lot more in, in the meetings and at training. So I expect, you know, uh, Matt to, to start the game really well. In saying that, you know, Josh McGuire, he deserves his opportunity to start. You know, his form at the Broncos has been outstanding since he's come back this season. So um, it's a good opportunity for him. So both those guys will step up tonight. I imagine this first 20 is going to be pretty epic from both teams. It sounds like they're both really going kind to of rip in. Yeah, I think, you know, it's, it's for New South Wales, you know, it's desperate times for them as far as, you know, where they're positioned in the series. And, and for us, you know, we're at home and, um, you know, we want to, you know, go out there and, and, and do our mates proud and our stay proud. So, you yeah, know, that's been what we've spoken about in the build-up. And the first 20 minutes, you know, we'll be nice and physical as, as most Origin games are. Well, last year's loss of more impact, so we'll be a little bit out now. I've got a wears by the intensity of the when they came down there. Yeah, they were really physical early. Yeah, they were really physical early um, last year at Melbourne. Um, you know, and I think, you know, talking to some of the senior guys, didn't quite get our prep right um, last year for that Melbourne game. So it's been a real focus for us this week. The first 20 minutes, we need to make sure we're nice and aggressive with, with what we do and our actions, particularly through the middle of the park. How much is Josh McCoy? It's, 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 a, it's a big occasion for him to replace him. Oh, yeah, jo Josh is looking forward to it. You know, he's played his whole career, you know, start, you know play for Australia, which he did earlier this year, and start for Queensland. So, obviously, he's very excited and, and he's ready to go. Anthony, how's Corey Parker? Obviously, a big game for him tonight, last year in Queensland Derby. Yeah, Sam, so, I mean, you know, it, it's been spoken about. You know, um, we haven't got any milestone games this time, but you know, Corey obviously playing his last game in a maroon jersey at home. Um, you know, everyone respects what he's done in the game, both for the Broncos and for Queensland. And, um, you know, the, the players are motivated to play well for him. And, and uh, Corey's motivated as well, so um, you know it's it's a, it's a big occasion for him. But you know we want to send him out in the best possible mode as well. You mentioned Cooper before, you know that he's a lot better. How much better? Like you know you want to follow what you've seen because obviously the symbolic in game one. What about Paddy now? We know what difference you really see. Oh, it just helps with our attacking structures. You know, like obviously uh, Jonathan and, and Cooper get us around the park as far as our attacks are concerned. So when one of those guys are missing, then. Um, you know, it does hamper your preparation. So to have, you know, your fullback and both halves and hooker tr all trained together at every session this week, you know, it helps her immensely. You know, whether that transfers to the field or not, you know, that remains to be seen. But it's certainly our training. We've, we've looked a lot sharper and we've trained uh, with more precision and, and our execution's been better, you know, for having those full guys all trained together. I heard last night's session, as you say, was just as good as it gets. Yeah, it was really sharp and, and short. And, and as most captains on are, mm. you know, um, you know, the big thing is, you know, what you do at training, uh, you know, it sets you up to, to transfer to the field with a good performance. So, um, and we need to take that on the park tonight. No secret getting a target for two debutants who are going to be in front of 52,000. It's a fair call, is it? You're going to test their mettle. Yeah, it certainly is, you know. And, and, you know, they've got some guys, you know, Dylan Walker who's, who's going to start at right centre for them. You know, it's a big test for Dylan. And, and like you say, you know, they've got Jack Bird and, and Frizzell there as well. And uh, it's a big occasion. But, um, you know, for, for our guys, you know, it's Corey Oakes and Justin O'Neill's first time 
this arena at, at this level as well. So we've got some guys who are new to, to this as well. But, um, Yeah, well, I think JT wants to get his hands on the footy, and that's that's the, the the big goal for him. You know, get get some footy and, and and trying to give GI some footy as well. And I think um, you know JT's trained really well this week. And and that, like I keep saying, you know, they have those guys trained together. They've got a better understanding, and you know, they've been together for a full ten days now again. So um, you know, expect to you know see Jonathan get his hands on the footy and, and execute really well on the, that left hand side. Oh, no, they're not running scared. Listen, we expect them to come out and play their best possible game. Yeah, you know, that's that's the expectation. That's what they brought to the Melbourne game last year. So, you know, we're preparing for for them to play at the best of their ability, and we need to make sure that um, you know we equal that and, and better that. And um, if we do that, and we give ourselves a chance. Are you surprised that they didn't participate the team walk through the city that they drawn behind closed doors? Oh, listen, you know. Again, I haven't really you know, concerned myself with that. Um, they have a reason for that. I'm sure they've done something to, to get themselves moving this morning. So, um, you know, whether it's a walk or whether it's something indoors, yeah, that's not for us to sort of concern ourselves with. Just overall, you see the crowd here and the amount of people that are interested in the team yeah. throughout the week. I mean, does that surprise you, the interest in the yeah, team? Yeah, well, it's, certainly, it's, it's amazing, isn't it? You know, it's my first time, um, you know, coaching at this level. So to see the immense interest up here is, uh, it has been uh, particularly eye-opening. I know the players really appreciate all the support they get up here, so um, you know they've um, you know they've been excited by, by seeing the scenes they've seen this week. Can you talk about the feeling in camp on game day? Obviously, you know the guys all prepare a little bit different, but um, you know we go for our team walk shortly, and, and and each individual sort of obviously has got some sense of excitement. But you know they've played in big games; these guys have all played at this level before, or played grand finals, so they know how to prepare well. And but there's a, certainly a, a sense of excitement about you know playing at home, which uh, there always is. Oh, well, it's challenging any time you lose, Sean. So I think um, yeah, we haven't concerned ourselves about the result. I know it's easy to say, but we just need to play well. We need to go out and start the first 20 minutes, like you said. Uh, we've got some specific trademarks that we need to be really good at, and we think if we can tick those trademarks off, then we give ourselves a real good chance to win, mate.